VRNext for Maya now supports dispersion for GPU rendering so that you can create stunning realistic renders at faster speeds than ever before. In physics, the dispersion effect is the separation of white light into colors as light passes through transparent objects like prisms or diamonds. To begin, let's make sure we have set our render engine to CUDA so we're rendering on the GPU. Next, let's start the IPR. Note that I've also got the NVIDIA AI Denoiser enabled to help speed up our preview. As you can see, we have a diamond ring in our scene here, but there isn't any optical dispersion effect visible. This is because by default, the dispersion option is disabled. In order to enable it, select the material you want to use with it, in this case, I'll select the diamond, and then locate the Refraction section. Next, expand the Refraction Advanced tab, and from there, enable the Dispersion checkbox. Now, back over in the IPR, let's draw a render region around the diamond to get a faster preview. As you can see, the effect is fairly subtle right now, so let's see how we can adjust the Dispersion effect to make it more noticeable. Back in the Refraction settings, we can control the strength of the Dispersion effect by changing the Dispersion Aberration number. The higher the value, the less noticeable the effect, so let's bring it down a bit and see how that changes our result. And once more, let's bring it down again even further. And one last time again. Now you'll see that at 1, the effect is a bit over the top. Let's adjust the aberration number to 5, and then let the entire scene render so you can see the full effect.